Welcome to Igbo Traditions and Religion. In this video, we will be going over the religion and some of the many traditions of the Igbo culture. We will get to see explanations of their religion and beliefs, an overview of why kola nuts are so important to the Igbo people, and what two different festivals are like, and eventually we will go over how these traditions and religious beliefs have evolved over time. But before we start, let's take a look at what religion and tradition meet in our culture. To begin to understand Igbo tradition and religion, we first must know what tradition and religion mean. Tradition The transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation, or the fact of being passed on in this way. Religion The belief in and worship of a superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. Now that we know the definitions of tradition and religion, let's take a look at the specifics of the Igbo. The people of Igbo have a traditional religion that is formed around their belief of God being their creator, who they call Chinike or Chukwa. It's taught that he can be approached through other deities and spirits in the form of natural objects. He is commonly reached through the god of thunder, Amadiola. They also believe in protection of deceased ancestors over living descendants, Ancestors are responsible for rain, harvest, health, and children in the village. The process of marrying an Igbo woman takes many years. There are four sp steps in total for doing so. Asking the woman's consent, negotiating through a middleman, testing the bride's character, and paying the bride wealth, also known as dowry. Another rite of passage for the Igbo people is the process for burial. When someone dies of old age, the Igbo people see it as a blessing. They dress the person in their nicest clothes, sit them on a stool with the sitting posture, and allow family and friends to pay their respects. Afterwards, they're wrapped in grass mats and are taken to be buried. Normally, when the head of household dies, that person is buried under the floor of their house. Now that we have learned about some of the religious customs here, now we will look at some ceremonies and festivals. As we know, traditions and festivals are very important to the Igbo people. One cultural festival or ceremony is the Kola Nut Ceremony. The Kola Nuts are very important to the Igbo people and are a culturally influenced nut that has been used for many different reasons. Most importantly, the Kola Nut Ceremony. So the ceremony begins with a group of people called the hosts blessing the Kola Nut. The hosts are usually the people running the ceremony for the visitors. Usually the eldest member of the host begins blessing the nut with a prayer. This starts the ceremony and makes the visitors become more welcome to their village or house. The biggest part of the ceremony is the breaking of the kola nut. Usually the eldest member again will break the nut using their hands or with a knife. The person breaking the nut wants to break it into as many pieces as they can so that they can distribute the broken nut to the visitors to bring them prosperity. While the nut is being distributed, this is a time when the visitors can explain the reason for their visit and is meant for people to become more familiar with each other. So the reason behind this festival is a very happy, uplifting uh, festival for people to get to know each other and become more familiar with the Igbo culture. Along with the Kola Nut Festival, there are many other festivals such as the Masquerade and Yam Festival of the Igbo people. The Igbo religion plays a large part in these festivals, and so do the ancestors of the Igbo people. The masquerades usually coincide with social gatherings of the Igbo people, such as festivals. The masks worn are to commemorate the ancestors. Traditionally, these festivities were used to keep the peace in the village, and everyone in the village would take part. Throughout the festivals, there would be dances, talents such as wrestling, and the masquerades would go to people in the village and call them out on their walk. Here with us today are two people to talk about their experiences as the Yam Festival and the masquerade in an Igbo village. When I went to the masquerade, I learned a lot of new things about my culture. Um, the men were wearing very colorful masks and interesting costumes, and I soon found out that their masks stood for their ancestors and how much they respected them. And it was then that I found out that the ancestors were meant to look over their descendants while since they died, and that's how we, they are protected in my village. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
This past September, I was lucky enough to be able to travel to southern Nigeria to attend the annual Yam Festival. This festival takes place at the end of the rainy season, before the new cultivation of the yams. This festival includes many rituals which the Igbo people and the priests take part in. Before the festival, there is a feast of yams, which are such an important part in the Igbo diet. It's a festival that I would recommend to anyone who travels to this region because it was a very cultural experience that being, being able to be there with these people during this festival and experience how they do their rituals and their religion and their food. It was something that was so amazing that I think is something that everyone should consider attending at one point in their life. Modern times, some things have changed, while others have not. Some of the things that have stayed the same is the kola nut and how it is used in their society. In modern times, some religious and traditional aspects have changed, while others have not. The Igbo people still have their festivals, but some things are different. The focus on the festivals isn't on the gods of the Igbo people anymore, and is more a celebration of others in the community. The festival of yams, for example, are no longer ceremonies where yams are offered to the Igbo gods but rather the days of enjoyment and the plant is shared with friends and family. Before the modern era, the Igbo believed in reincarnation, but in the modern era, no such belief exists. We can see that even though tradition has remained after many years, the religious part of their lives have been influenced by Christianity and has been almost been taken out of Igbo society. Thank you, and this has been Ebo Traditions and Religion.